guys and welcome to the family fudge i'm jennifer and in today's video i'm going to take you along with me as i declutter and organize my kitchen i know that i have a lot of holiday recipes and fun lunches that i want to make so now is the perfect time to get this job done I have so many different ideas and hacks to share with you, and I hope that this video will give you some good ideas that you can use in your own kitchen. Now, if you enjoy watching videos like this, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Today's project is actually part three in my kitchen organization series. So if you're looking for tips or ideas on how to organize your refrigerator or your pantry, you can check out my other videos. I will go ahead and link them down below. And I have to be honest, there's definitely a reason why I've been putting off this kitchen project for a while. This kitchen might look pretty good from the outside, but once you actually see inside the cabinets and the drawers, you'll see they need a lot of work. Because I share so many recipes, school lunch ideas, and meal prep videos on this YouTube channel, I have quite the collection of kitchen gadgets and tools. Not to mention that when we moved into this house, it came completely furnished. So some of these kitchen items actually came with the house. I've just never gotten rid of them. Before I got started, I spent some time planning out what I wanted to do or change in each area. And just so I wouldn't forget, I did go ahead and write my plans on sticky notes and I placed them in each area. So once I had everything planned out, I was able to order a few organizational items from Amazon and I was able to take a trip to Ikea for some really affordable items for organizing as well and you guys these organization hacks I'm going to show you can work whether you have a big kitchen or a small kitchen and they will also work whether you have a big budget or a small budget I'm going to start with the areas I'm dreading the most and those are definitely all of the top drawers this first drawer right over here is supposed to be where I keep all of the tools and gadgets I use for my fun lunches but as you can see it's turned into a little junk drawer. I mean, why are there so many pencils and Sharpies in my kitchen? I have no idea. So with this drawer and all of the drawers I'm working on today, I'm going to start by emptying out everything. I'm going to spend some time vacuuming out every single drawer. I'm going to wipe them all down, get them nice and clean, and then I'm going to add a little drawer liner. And this is the not sticky kind. Now, unfortunately, for whatever reason, I have a really unusual sized drawers in this kitchen, and I really had a hard time finding drawer organizers that would fit perfectly. But that's okay, I'm still going to make this work. This organizer came from Ikea, and in here I'm just going Going to add back in the tools and gadgets that I use all the time. Any of the items I decide I don't need anymore during this whole kitchen declutter project will be donated to the Goodwill, so I'm not just going to throw them away. So here's the drawer before, and then here is the after. Moving on to the knife drawer. Now I just have to say that I absolutely love these colorful ceramic knives, but I have way too many of them. I know that many of these are really, really old, and the ones that are really scratched, faded, and extremely dull never get used anyway. So after this drawer is all cleaned up, I'll go ahead and add in my liner and these three drawers that I also got at Ikea. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the knives that I actually use back into this drawer. Now I'm going to finish off this drawer with my little egg slicer, all of these super cute corn cob holders, and some cheese knives. Now 
And this skinny little drawer over here is where I keep all of our utensils, the kids and the adults, and it's just a big mess. There's definitely not enough space in here to keep all of these items, so I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out. So now that I have everything clean and I've added my liner, I'm going to separate the kid and adult utensils into some separate drawers. This white drawer organizer came from Target and it actually fits this drawer, which I'm super excited about. And since my kids are getting older, I decided to add in some new metal utensils instead. And you guys, I found this set at Walmart for just $10. And it's actually really nice. I hope that they hold up. And then for my youngest kiddo, I am gonna hold on to one entire set of our old utensils for him. And then of course, I'm gonna donate the rest. Here's the drawer before, and here it is after. Next is the miscellaneous drawer. And honestly, in here I have a bunch of things that I hardly ever use. So I'm probably gonna end up donating quite a few of these items. This is the drawer I decided to put the adult utensils in. And I still have lots of room for other things that I use quite often. This drawer is definitely a huge improvement. Now this last drawer over here was originally meant for large serving utensils. These are the ones that kind of don't fit anywhere else. I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out, give it a good clean, and then in this drawer I'm adding this big utensil holder. And this one I also found on Amazon. Now on the opposite side of the kitchen, I have two top drawers on either side of my oven. And this is where I'm supposed to be keeping the things that I use at the stove. So they're nice and easy to grab. But just like the rest of my drawers, these have become really unorganized and I actually have way too many duplicates in here. In fact, I was kind of embarrassed to find out how many pizza cutters I actually had. I honestly didn't know that we had so many pizza cutters. Way more than we need. So with both of these drawers, I'm gonna go ahead and clean them out. On this side, I'm adding another organizer from Ikea, and I'm going to fill each section with tools that I actually use. And then on the other side, I'm just gonna keep this drawer super simple. I've just added the rainbow utensils that I use in my cooking videos. Next up is the spice cabinet, which actually isn't too bad. I do have some organizing things in here already, but there's definitely a few things that I want to change, especially this spice rack over here, because I kid you not, just about every time I try to reach something from the back, I end up knocking down things in front, and it just turns into an annoying mess. <laughs> I also know that there are some super old spices in here that are way past their expiration date, and I know that there are definitely duplicates in here that if I combine them, they would take up a lot less space. So in here, I'm going to put back this spinning spice rack from Costco, which I love. And then next to that, I'm adding a sturdier spice rack from Aldi. Then when I was at Ikea, I also picked up lots of these glass spice jars. They are only about $1.50 each, and not only do they look beautiful, but I was able to combine and consolidate a lot of different spices into these bottles. Oh yes, and I did go ahead and label each one just using an inexpensive label maker from Target. Now for the bigger seasonings, I went ahead and combined those into these larger glass jars that I found on Amazon. And for the oil and vinegars, I transferred those into these glass bottles that I got from Target. 
Now these little rotating storage containers I've had for a while as well. They came from Aldi and I really love to have these especially on the higher shelves which are kind of hard to reach. That way things don't get lost in the back and I can easily get to everything. Next I'm moving under the sink which is not terrible, but not very great either. I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out, clean up a few spills, and then I'm going to add this wipeable shelf liner to the bottom. Now over on this side, I'm going to add this white metal storage system. I got this on Amazon, and I love that this thing is nice and sturdy, and it's also small enough to fit under my sink. And I think this is the perfect place to organize all of my sponges and my cleaning brushes. Then over on the other side, I went ahead and picked up some of these white metal file folders from Ikea. These are super inexpensive and I think they match nicely with the drawer unit on the other side. In here, I'm gonna go ahead and store all of my different soaps and cleaners. That way I can easily reach them and they won't get lost in the back or get knocked over and leak. Okay guys, so underneath the drawer where all of the utensils are now, I have two other drawers that are pretty disorganized. This middle drawer has all of my plastic bags, Ziplocs, aluminum foil, and things like that. And then this bottom drawer has all of my kitchen towels, which I hardly ever fold, I have to be honest. So they usually look like a mess. Now in this drawer where I have all of my Ziploc bags and aluminum foil and things, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this out. A lot of these boxes are crushed, they're almost empty, so I'm just going to take everything out, try to consolidate as best I can, then I'm just gonna put everything back. I really can't think of a better place to put these in my kitchen, so they're just gonna stay right in this drawer. And then in my towel drawer, I am gonna go ahead and take every towel out. And to try to keep things organized in here, I picked up a few of these inexpensive bins from Target. You could also get similar bins from the Dollar Tree. And in these bins, I went ahead and organized my towels by type. I think this looks a lot better, but I'm not quite sure I'll be able to keep up with it. So now we're gonna move on to my favorite cabinet in the entire kitchen, and that's because this is where I keep my Disney mug and cup collection. In here we also have all of our to-go cups, I have the kids' water bottles, and I also have a ton of reusable straws, way more than I actually need. So for this cabinet, I'm just going to take it section by section. So right on the bottom here, I'm gonna do something a little unusual. I'm going to add in this wavy wine rack, and I actually found this at Costco. And of course, instead of putting wine bottles in here, I'm gonna be putting all of our to-go cups. Mine and the kids fit perfectly in here. This way I can actually see all of the different cups and the water bottles. This is gonna make it really easy to find the exact one that I want, and I feel like I can store more in here this way. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pare down our reusable straws. I'm gonna hold on to the ones that are for the kids. Those are gonna go somewhere else. And with these straws, I'm also going to store the little straw and bottle cleaners. Now on this next shelf, I'm just going to keep a few of my Pioneer Woman cups with some Christmas mugs. And then on the next shelf, I'm just going to reorganize my little Starbucks mug collection. I have one from Disneyland, DCA, I have one from all four Disney World Parks and from Universal Studios. And then way at the top, I have my Disney travel mugs. Now these I've been collecting for a while and I think they are super cute, but I don't use them super often, which is why I'm keeping them way up on the top shelf. 
Now in this next cabinet is where I keep all of my measuring bowls, my measuring spoons, all of my mixing bowls, and my strainers, things like that. And again, this cabinet isn't too bad, but I do want to go ahead and just take everything out, give it a good clean, and then put things back in a more organized way. And you guys, I really wasn't liking how the measuring spoons were kind of getting lost amongst the bowls. So I'm going to go ahead and do a hack that I've seen quite a lot on Pinterest. I'm going to add some clear command hooks to the inside of my cabinet door, and I'm actually going to hang my measuring spoons right on the hooks. These aren't in the way of the door closing. These hooks aren't gonna damage the cabinet at all. And it's going to make finding my measuring spoons a lot easier. Now over in this bottom cabinet is where I keep all of my pots and pans. And in here, I'm really needing to let some of them go, especially this really old scratched up beat up set that came with the house. These definitely don't look very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. And then I'm just going to reorganize these pots and pans in an easier to grab way. It's still kind of crowded in here, but I do have a special hack for the lids. At Ikea, I picked up this metal organizing rack and it can actually be customizable in size. So you can make it bigger or smaller depending on what you need. And in here, I'm just going to place all of my lids. Now you could also use this organizer for cookie sheets, cutting boards, or even skillets. And speaking of cutting boards, right now my cutting board cabinet looks really, really bad. I have way too many. Again, a lot of these came with the house when we moved in and they look gross. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some out and only keep the ones that I really use often. And then in this cabinet, I'm going to use another one of these metal organizing racks from Ikea. This just fits perfectly right in here and I think this looks so much better. Now in this upper cabinet next to my sink, I kind of just have a miscellaneous or random assortment of items, but I want to turn this into our everyday cup cabinet. So I'm going to start by taking everything out of this cabinet. And of course, these things will find a home a little bit later. They're going to go into other cabinets. Now I'm going to make this very bottom shelf all about the kids cups. That way they can easily reach them. Well, almost all the kids can reach them. My youngest might have to get a step stool for this. Right over here, I'm going to add this basket insert, which is going to give me extra storage space in this area. This little storage basket it came from Walmart and I think it was only like three or four dollars. In here I'm going to keep all of the lids to my kids cups and the lids to some of my cups as well. On the bottom I have just enough space for their cups. Then over on the side I have just enough space for the straws that go with these cups. So in this area they have their cups, their lids, and their straws all together. Okay guys, now moving on to the kids cabinet. Now I know this looks like a lot and it really is, but honestly, if I wasn't making so many kid lunch videos and recipe videos, I probably wouldn't have so many plates. So for this cabinet, I'm just going to take everything out and I'm basically just going to reorganize them in a way that makes more sense. So the things that my kids use every day are gonna go towards the bottom and then the things we don't use quite as often are gonna go towards the top. Now I think this cabinet looks way, way better and of course I love when things are stacked in rainbow order. In this next cabinet, I'm going to dedicate this one to only white things. It's kind of already there, but there are a few things missing and some things I want to change. Now, just like with the kids cabinet, I want to go ahead and put the things that we use most often towards the bottom shelves. And instead of just stacking all the plates on each other, I decided to give these IKEA racks a try. Now, these ones are actually made of wood and they were really inexpensive. I think they were about three to four dollars each and this just makes it so that I can stack the plates like this instead and I think this looks so much better so here we have the rainbow cabinet on one side and the white cabinet on the other now, last but not least, I'm moving on to my food storage container cabinet. And as you can see, I have way too many of these as well. And you guys, some of these 
are really really old like older than some of my kids and they have definitely seen better days so I'm gonna go ahead and toss some of these because they are just too far gone others can definitely be donated and whatever's left I'm just going to organize now you guys there are so many different ways that you can organize your food storage lids I recently found this lid organizer off of Amazon and it actually comes with these dividers so you can kind of customize it for whatever kind of lids you have. Okay guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you found some good ideas that you'll be able to use in your own kitchen. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.